Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. This is Omar Sulaiman. Um, you know, this is truly a dream come true just to be a part of a promo about Muhsin after all these years of planning and, and getting it together and, and, you know, just envisioning, subhanAllah, what it would be like uh, for the Muslim community to have an effort, an initiative that goes out there and re-mosques, uh, you know, an often forgotten group of unmosked individuals and unmosked families, in fact, that have people in their, that have, you know, children, that have people in their families that have these special needs and that have these disabilities. as alaikum. My name is Arshi Ali Khan, and today I'm here to talk to you a little bit about my brother. I want to take this time to talk to you about my daughter, Serena, who is, mashallah, six and a half now. And she's a bright, loving, kind, fun child who has this great toothless smile right now that she lost her tooth and she also has cerebral palsy. Assalamu alaikum, my name is Fariyal Tahir and I'm 15 years old and I have a sister named Mehreen and she's great at basketball, she's a whiz at the computers, she loves to eat and she has autism spectrum disorder. When I was 19 years old, my brother was diagnosed with a mental illness, an invisible disability. At the time, there was no community support or religious outlets that we could turn to for help. So instead of being supported, we felt alienated and shamed. There are so many families that are affected by this in our community, and we just don't see them, subhanAllah, because they're buried away while we're enjoying our khutbahs and we're enjoying our halaqahs and we're enjoying all the great activities in the masjid. These families have been completely barred from the masjid, and when they set foot in the masjid, it's the most uncomfortable feeling in the world. So for many families, not, we're not just talking about those that have needs and disabilities, many families, the masjid has become a place to resent because when they walk in there, all they get are the dirty looks, all they get are the you know go home uh, sentiments, rather than this is your home because the masjid is the home of every believer as the Prophet said. We just need a little extra help. We need a little extra support. We need a little understanding. But inshallah, we can get there. There's no reason not to. It's not asking for a lot. It's just asking for a little bit of, a little bit of acceptance, a little bit of sensitivity. And I think an organization like Mosin is the perfect vehicle to do that, <laughs> inshallah. I pray for the success of Mosin because had there been an organization that was around for us to connect to, that provided awareness, acceptance, and guidance, perhaps my brother wouldn't have been left alone. Perhaps my mom wouldn't have put herself to bed crying day in and day out. Perhaps families like ours would have had a place to go and people to support them through it. I what helps me get through everything when we're going through a struggle with Mahreen is that thinking that Mahreen is an angel and if we hold on to a sinless angel like Mahreen, inshallah she will like help us on the day of judgment and she will take us to Jannah inshallah and I I would like other people to feel the same way. Inshallah ta'ala, through this, through Muhsin, we can begin to show ihsan to them and hopefully we can make the masjid more comfortable for them and they can make our day of judgment more comfortable for us by testifying on our behalf that we truly did ease the way for them. If you or, if you or anybody in your family don't have somebody that you know of the disability, it might be hard for you to understand what we may be going through, but there's so much you can do to help. You can spread awareness and just being kind to somebody with a disability or if somebody a family with a disability and be kind to them and welcoming to them that will make them feel really happy also you can volunteer to watch them while the family gets involved in masjid activities i have been blessed and honored to develop and work for the ummah center a nonprofit dedicated to empowering the lives of the underserved the alienated, the disenfranchised, the poor. We provide education empowerment programs and basic need programs. And with every person that I have fed, educated, clothed, and served, I pray deep down that there is someone out there doing the same for my brother.